G'day guys, um, welcome to the uh, modification that everyone's been asking for, the, uh, the tutorial on how to change the build plate in your CR6SE. Um, now the first thing you're going to need is uh, four of the Creality uh, twist knobs that I'm pointing to here. Uh, you'll need four of the 28mm M4s. And you'll need four of these silicon spacers. Now everything here you can get on AliExpress. They're 18mm uh, long, so they're nice and easy to get a hold of. So to get started, you basically take off the glass plate and uh, remove it there. And the CR6 community on Facebook is just going to love this. Those guys just love my work. And basically you want to undo all of these screws. Now I'm going to fast forward all this shit for you so that it's not so painful. But uh, I've just got an Allen key thing here and uh, just quickly get through it and undo the lot of them. They all just sit there in place. Basically then you just uh, pull them all out and, uh, and put them aside and hang on to these and I'll show you why in a minute when we get the little black spaces. So uh, lift the build plate out of the way or the aluminium plate I should say and pull all these little spaces out and you want to hang on to these because uh, you can feed them you can feed them all directly to the CR6 community on Facebook. They can all peck at them and carry on because they just love that shit. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is a 4 mil drill. Uh, I don't have a license for this, so please excuse me. And you want to drill out the four corners of this uh, bottom black aluminium plate. Aluminium? Might be steel. Uh, but it goes real easy. Uh, I don't even bother taking the plate off the machine. I just drill it out and clean it up and uh, wipe everything on the floor. It's the best way to do it. In this house it just seems to get clean. So take the, uh, the silicon spacers and uh, place them all on the, uh, the build plate like this, in, or in between the build plate and the, the base plate, whatever you want to call that thing, I don't know, you can see what I'm doing here. Place the aluminium build plate over the top and, uh, and then put the screws through. And this is probably what the CR6 community hate me for, is uh, they, they, you need opposable thumbs to do this part, so they probably can't get this done. I'll speed this up, but you basically just poke these 28mm M4 threads through the holes and um, once it's all down like that, you then just take these um, these nuts or these these uh, adjusting nuts or whatever you want to call them and spin them on. Spin them on so that they start to take a bit of the, bit of the whatever you want to call it, they start to friction up. And basically this way, now the plate's completely mounted on four points and you've got the adjuster knobs underneath. Um, the back the back knobs are a little bit hard to get on, so I usually just use a little Allen key like that to get them done. So tighten them up, nice and uh, nice and decent. You actually want to go a little bit uh, past tight so that you can adjust them and you can loose them if required. Um, but look, I nip them up and then I usually spin up the machine and I let it uh, let it do a a quick um, what you call it a quick bed level. Um, of course, put the glass back on. What am I thinking? Let that go, and uh, once the machine's powered up, bring it up to temperature. You uh, you want to make sure that you're up to uh, to at least 200 degrees C. Uh, otherwise, the bed's not going to be completely right because of the the heat and everything. It's going to change it. <coughs> COVID. Righto. So uh, so you're all good. Let the machine do its first level. Obviously, if you've had the the gantry out of the way, it's going to take a while to come down like this, and then it's going to take forever to heat up. But um, once it's done, let it do its thing. And uh, the first time around, it's going to be completely off, so don't, don't stress about this, that's, that's not a big deal. Uh, let it go, and then uh, second time around, that's when you start to really tighten things up. So tighten up the screws, take them, yeah, get, the, get it the right way, Shane. Uh, get, it, get it down so that it's quite a fair bit tight, and, uh, and that way you've got room to go up or down with the bed. Uh, if you're all the way up at the top, um, you, can't, uh, you can't let it off anymore, so you've got to tighten it right down. Go through another bed leveling process. While it's doing this, um, make sure you don't go too low. If you go too low, the actual bed will hit the back stepper motor there, so you can't go super low. Uh, so let it go through its uh, its paces here. You can see there on the screen that we're getting a bit of a rainbow again, so, so it's obviously out. And uh, once it's done, I'll show you quickly, you just map the four pieces, uh, the four corners of the screen to the four corners of the uh, of the bed. Excuse my fingers on my finger chew. I hate it. Wish I could stop. Um, yeah, so you so you just line them up, and uh, you know if it's if it's positive, then you wind it down. 
If it's negative, then you wind it back up a little bit. So here I'm winding it down and I'm winding the rest of the corners up. So once you've done that, put it through another bed leveling process. Keep it hot the entire time. And uh, you just keep basically doing this until you get it right. Um, <clears throat> and, and on this situation, I just fast forwarded there, but on this in this situation, I actually jagged it this time around. Uh, look, I've got three of these machines and um, this has been, you know, this is the third time I've done this, so I'm pretty used to it. So um, I, I sort of got it, you know, third or fourth go or something like that, so it's pretty easy. But look, if it takes a little bit more, just, just stay patient and keep at it. And um, this is black voodoo magic for uh, for the CR6 community on Facebook because holy smokes, there it is. It's uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Look, if you're uh, if you're part of the CR6 community on Facebook and you're watching this and you're you're absolutely up in arms because this is just bullshit and oh my god, he's modifying a bed and the software takes care of that and shit like that and you're gonna make these crazy ass comments just. Don't bother, guys. I'm not interested in your crap. You know, the mo you're the most caustic bunch of people on Facebook that I've ever come across, and, and you really should be ashamed of yourself. 3D printing is all about, you know, experimenting and building and making some stuff, and, and for me, this works, okay? So so if you're going to comment, go away. I'm, I'm just gonna, not going to read it, so, so don't bother. For the rest of you guys that are interested in this stuff and have been asking, well, I hope this helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm sorry it took me so long to, to make a video to show you this. Um, but uh, but look, give it a go. It, it's really easy to do, and uh, you, it's really hard to screw up. Uh, you you really can't screw it up. So so give it a go. And uh, thanks for watching.